this is Daily Devotion for Thursday, August 12th, and our reading comes to us from the Gospel of John, the fourth chapter, beginning with the 39th verse. Many Samaritans from that city believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I have ever done. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, It is no longer because of what you said that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves. And we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. The woman in this case is the woman at the well, the woman who had five husbands and was currently living with someone who was not her husband. The woman who then ran into her Samaritan village to tell everyone that she might possibly have met the Messiah. The people did not automatically accept her word because it would be a difficult word to accept, but rather they investigated. And once they investigated, rather than believing because of what the woman said about Jesus, they believed because of what Jesus said himself. And this is a model for us as well. Very few of us have a direct encounter with Jesus to thank for the beginning of the active part of our faith. In most cases, it comes because of someone's testimony. What others have said about Jesus. Like, for instance, um, a preacher a Sunday school teacher, a parent, a grandparent, a relative, a friend, we first begin to believe and feel that seed planted because of someone else. But it cannot stop there, brothers and sisters in Christ. We must also investigate and go to Jesus himself. Many times Christians fall into patterns of reading the easier to understand, more direct and straightforward parts of the Bible, or the more fantastic and compelling parts of the Bible, and they ignore Jesus' actual teachings. I can't tell you how many signs I have, times I have seen that happen. I encounter Christians who know Old Testament history backwards and forwards, who know all the prophecies and how they might or might not apply to the modern world, to America, etc. Those who know the book of Revelation backwards, forwards, inside and out. Those who know everything Paul said to do or not to do in his letters. And when you ask them about the Sermon on the Mount, the they don't know it. When you ask them about Jesus' parables, they can only name one or two of them. And as far as what those parables mean, crickets. The Samaritans were almost but not quite Jewish, is the best way to describe them. And yet even they, twisted as though their religion had become, knew not to take anything simply on the word of a woman who went to the well in the middle of the day. They investigated. They saw it, they found, and once they found, they believed. Is there a model for us in that? You better believe it. Seek, as Jesus said, and you will find. All those who seek God inevitably find him. And I encourage you not to be afraid of your doubts, of your questions, etc., but rather to see them as opportunities to learn even more about our great God. Let us pray. Thank you, God, that you are findable. Thank you so much for not being afraid of our questions and our doubts, but rather using them for your own purposes to help us grow and become stronger in our faith. May we never fear our questions, but rather may we use them to learn more about you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you again soon.